Okay, to get polyas how to solve it, I'll put the link in the comments. Um, it says it's in the public domain here. And uh, you go to PDF and you can right click and save your link to get a copy of the book. So I will, uh, I'll put the link in the comments. So the book is How to Solve It, A New Aspect of Mathematical Method by G. Polya, that'd be uh, George Polya. He says, from the preface to the first printing, a great discovery solves a great problem, but there is a grain of discovery in the solution of any problem. Your problem may be modest, but if it challenges your curiosity and brings into play your inventive faculties, and if you solve it by your own means, you may experience the tension and enjoy the triumph of discovery. Such experiences at a susceptible age may create a taste for mental work and leave their imprint on mind and character for a lifetime. Thus a teacher of mathematics has a great opportunity if he fills his allotted time with drilling his students in routine operations, he kills their interest, hampers their intellectual development, and misuses his opportunity. But if he challenges the curiosity of his students by setting them problems proportionate to their knowledge and helps them to solve their problems with stimulating questions, he may give them a taste for and some means of independent thinking. Also, a student whose college curriculum includes some mathematics has a singular opportunity. This opportunity is lost, of course, if he regards mathematics as a subject in which he has to earn so and so much credit and which he should forget after the final examination as quickly as possible. The opportunity may be lost even if the student has some natural talent for mathematics because he, as everybody else, must discover his talents and tastes. He cannot know that he likes raspberry pie if he has never tasted raspberry pie. He may manage to find out, however, that a mathematics problem may be as much fun as a crossword puzzle or that vigorous mental work may be an exercise as desirable as a fast game of tennis. Having tasted the pleasure in mathematics, he will not forget it easily, and then there is a good chance that mathematics will become something for him, a hobby or a tool of his profession or his profession or a great ambition.